Yeah, she said, the Lord led her and taught her and kept her as the apple of his eye, like an angel spreading its wings. He took her up and bore her on his shoulders. The Lord alone was her guide. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. It's nice to have a congregation to celebrate Mass. And today, we also welcome our school children. They are viewing the Mass online. So welcome, sixth graders. And today, our church celebrates St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Let us come before the Lord, and we thank God that we can attend Mass virtually and in presence, and uh, we also want to acknowledge our sins. And uh, we are sinners. We ask the Lord for pardon and for peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to the little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Teresa so that through her intercession, we may see your eternal glory revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job said, Pity me, pity me, O you my friends, for the hand of God has struck me. Why do you hound me as though you were divine and insati insatiably prey upon me? O oh, would that my words were written down, would that they were inscribed in a record, that with an iron chisel and with lead, they were cut in the rock forever. But as for me, I know that my vindicator lives and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust, whom I myself shall see. My own eyes, not another's, shall behold him, and from my flesh I shall see God. My inmost being is consumed with longing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I believe, I believe that I shall see the, the good, good things of the Lord in the, the land, land of the living. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. 
cast me not off. I believe, I believe that, that I shall see the good, the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe, I believe that I, I shall see, see the, the good, good things of the Lord, Lord in the land, land of the living. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appointed seventy two other disciples, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So as the master of the harvest, to set out the laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like a lamb among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no saddles, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the labor deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter, they welcome you. Eat what is said before you. Cure the sick in it. Say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, the dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. You know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome, especially we welcome uh, sixth graders. They are reviewing the Mass online and welcome all of you. And today we hear in the gospel that Jesus chose 20, uh, 72 disciples and set them ahead to every town, every place he intended to visit. And of course, uh, why Jesus cannot go, just go, uh, go to this place and town to visit them and bring the good news to them. Of course, uh, Jesus incarnated as a human being and uh, he is limited in time and space. And he cannot visit every place, every town, and he intended to visit. So that's why he set out these uh, 72 disciples to rep represent him and to open the way for him to visit. I think uh, we as uh, Christians and Catholics, and we are all chosen to be set out to really represent Jesus uh, in his mission. And Jesus, it's uh, not physically with us in this world. He cannot visit every place, every town. It really depends on us and God's mission and God's, uh, God's message. It depends on us to go out and bring the good news to the others. And uh, as a representative, uh, you, you cannot represent unless you know the person you represent and uh, you know the person you love, then you can really become a representative and especially know the message of the gospel. So we need uh, missionaries more than ever in this world to 
to bring peace and to bring to bring the good news to the to others, and um, that's why we are continue send. Usually, we know that in the gospel there's a two apostles. Apostles in Greek means really being sent, sent out, and uh, if the we just uh, associate apostles with uh, these twelve, then it's really uh, not the right way. And uh, we, each of us, have that mission, and we are called to do so, to represent Jesus in this world. And we today especially celebrate a very special saint, uh, Saint Teresa, and the child of Jesus, the little flower, doctor, and virgin of the church. And we, uh, we learn. We can learn a lot from her. And she lived a very short life, 25 years. Years, but uh, she、um, was made a doctor of the church, and、um, uh, especially as as a patron of mis-、uh, missionaries. And she never went out、uh, to、uh, other mission territories to, like the apostles. To bring the good news to others, of course, that was her desire, and she have this great desire to go out、uh, to Asia or Africa, to to be the missionary there. But she never got a chance. But that never stopped her to love God and love the mission of the church. Actually, in her diary, and there's still some letters preserved. That she always、uh, con- concerned for the mission of the church. Actually, she、uh, got a chance to really connect with the missionaries, one in China and one in Africa. And she wrote letter to them and、uh, support them with her prayers. So God never disappoint us, and we each of us born into this world. And God created us beautifully for a special mission. Each person has a mission, and、uh, we Catholic, especially called to be disciples, and to be the apostle of the church. And we are sent to bring the good news to others. However, because、uh, of our occupation, because our family, or because of other circumstances, we cannot go other places to preach. Uh, to bring the good news to others, but、uh, we can do at any time in our life for the mission of the church, for conversion of souls. That what、uh, Teresa, little、uh, little child of Jesus, did, and、uh, she found a way, a special way for each of us. And God have revealed her,、uh, in her, for us,、uh, a special way to be a missionary. And to really love God and love others, and Teresa in her、uh, monastery, and she meditated, and she devel- developed a deep, deep heart,、uh, a deep love for Jesus, and she constantly seeking how to please God, how to love Jesus Christ, and in her prayers, in the things that she does. And one way she discovered for us is、uh, doing the little way, and there's a famous saying, and that、uh, um, Saint Teresa had opened for us. That is,、uh, even you pick a pin on the ground with love for God, you can convert souls. So that's truly true. Whenever we do something with love. And that pleases God. That also convert us, and also convert others. That's why her her little way is a powerful way for us to follow. So God、uh, continue call us, and especially in the history of the church, God raised many saints to be example for us to follow. That's one way that God is sending His message to each of us. So today we honor her and celebrate uh, this uh, great feast of her, her sainthood, and、uh, we can draw lessons from her. That is, 
always seeking God. Find the purpose God for you. What is my purpose today? What is the purpose of my life? What can I do to please God? And even since that we do daily, we can dedicate that to God with a love, especially love can convert hearts. So with a love, we do things. We walk into the church. We cooking a meal. We help our parents to clean dishes, saying, "I want to love God. That's why I doing this." Then your life will totally be transformed. So let us uh, come to the Lord, to the Eucharist, and uh, Saint Teresa have a deep devotion and deep love for the Eucharist. Whenever there's chance, she will receive the Lord in the sacrament. So let us uh, receive Jesus and thank Jesus. We are here and present and virtually, and uh, for love of God, let us attend this uh, celebration. Also. By receiving Jesus Christ in us, and Jesus also calling us to be good disciples, apostles, do whatever we can, even little things, to convert souls. Let us stand and offer our prayers to our loving God. For the Holy Church, that we, her member, be gathered as the harvest gathered into one in unity and in peace, one faith, one calling, and one hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who do not know what to do with their lives. That in Christ's call to ser service, they may find spiritual sustenance to fill the emptiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for peace throughout the world, that those who are peacemakers may prevail over the evils erected by hatred, intolerance, and religious prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor and the hungry of the world, that the rich harvest season be for them a time of refreshment, deliverance, and plenty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all of us here, gathered and virtually watching this mass. That、uh, we may be a true foretaste of our final harvest, gathered together with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also pray for Aurelia Vanquilla, and today she celebrated her 90th birthday. And we offer prayers and thanksgiving for her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all our beloved deceased, and especially today we pray for Raymond Flores, Rosario Canto, Dorothy Hermenwe. May God rest them in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue over our prayer for the、uh, pandemic, and、uh, may God bring this、uh, pandemic to an end very soon. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for containment of the fire in Napa, and、uh, for pray for firefighters. And all those are、uh, displaced. May God bring them healing, strength, and consolation in these difficult times, and protect、uh, the firefighters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, in the silence of our heart, we offer our own intentions.
For all the intentions in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gifts of life, for calling us to be your disciples. May you continue to inspire us and to trust in you in all things. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. In his name, your body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us, receive it. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Hey, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Teresa, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in sins who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this, on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. That the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, for the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I'm only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of their love, with which Saint Teresa dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for coming to mass, and especially thank you, sixth graders. Thank you for attending the mass, and be safe. God bless.